Right. So, good evening, guys. So, we'll see some questions uh, regarding SQL, SQL, okay, which are important. But for those questions, we read the answers, both the uh, MySQL queries, MySQL queries, plus we read the Python also, guys. We read the Python, Python scripts also, we read the for the same question. Yes, sir. One question with the two answers. One is a MySQL answer, other one no? Python script. Right? I love you. Let us try. Let us try it. So as part of this one, first what do we do? We have to we have to give the okay, database connection, guys. First you have to provide the connection to the database for Python. Right? So in that process, first we use uh, we have to import a module called uh, by MySQL module, by MySQL module, right? Uh, okay. So this by MySQL module should be installed uh, from the command prompt. Let's take the command prompt, and from there we use a uh, pip install, pip install by MySQL. If I click enter, it installs automatically. But in my machine, already by MySQL is there, so I'm not going to click enter here. Right, so fine. Now this Py MySQL module is used uh, to provide the connection between uh, Python plus MySQL. Python plus MySQL. Right. Let us see now one example, guys. Here, suppose uh, this is the Python. This is the Python. Right. And uh, yes, I am going to take here MySQL, guys. Right, MySQL. So this is the MySQL. This is the right MySQL. Generally, while installing MySQL, we, we give the okay, we set the username password, right? We set the username and password, guys. Okay, username and password. So here, uh, actually, the default username is there. That is that is a uh, root. Uh, root is the default username. And uh, and also password. Uh, I set the password uh, NTH at the rate. Okay, uh, 9010. This password is given. Right? So, fine. So, in MySQL, in MySQL, what we do, we create a database generally. We can create a n number of databases. We can create n number of databases. So, we have a database already that is the, with the name of MySQL 7AMDB. Right? This database I created recently while discussing uh, uh, some SQL question, uh, SQL sessions. Okay, that has a pre, uh, that has operate playlist for SQL programs. SQL questions. Okay, right. So already this uh, MySQL seven name DB is there. In the database, we can have the tables, right? Now uh, we have a table here already. We have a table. Table is created already here. The table name is the table name is students uh, students uh, students data is the table name right in the table we have we have uh, some columns some columns under some rows are there guys there are some students uh, in this table right this is the uh, okay uh, which one available in the mysql right mysql now what is the requirement here from python from Python, we have to provide the connection to the which one? To the MySQL. This connection required. This communication required. For this purpose, we use a module called a module called Py MySQL module, guys. If you use the Py MySQL module, Py MySQL module, then automatically here, okay, the connection will be created between both. The link will be created between between uh, or Python, Python and uh, and uh, this is MySQL, right? So now in this Python, we have to import first my, my MySQL. In the my MySQL, when a connect function is there, in that connect function, we have to, we have to specify the host name, uh, database name, uh, the user name, uh, and port name, uh, we have to specify all, right? And one more thing, guys, in my mission already, uh, I have MySQL, uh, so MySQL, 5.0 is there and uh, MySQL 8.0 also is there in mission, right? To make the difference, 
to make the difference uh, okay for this one i said the port number i said the port number okay 9010 right all of you that's why i use port number what here i'm going to use port number i'm going to use a uh, uh, port number so 9010 and this 5.0 this 5.0 is having the default port number guys all of right this 5.0 is having the default port number so that's why uh, i have taken a uh, use different port number port number uh, for the 8.0 for the 8.0 uh, guys right so here i think the default port number is uh, the default port number is uh, i think 3306 guys this is the default port number but uh, so for this uh, 8.0 i'm setting the user different number it is 9010 that's why so when creating the queries i use the port uh, 9010 okay right but these are all details like uh, this post uh, and uh, this uh, database this username uh, this password this port uh, this fire details you have to specify where in the connect function guys you have to specify all the details here so that the connection will be created here okay this is what i'm going to do now all of you right so first i'll open a uh, right uh, import the pymysql then in pymysql in uh, in pymysql there is a function called uh, connect function is there in the connect function in the connect function we have to we have to specify these all uh, attributes okay so first uh, first uh, uh, okay uh, host guys the host is which one uh, local host right this is the local host then uh, what is the user username guys username uh, is the root is the root then what is the password i specified their password is nth at, uh, uh, at the rate 9010 then uh, what is the database name database name i'll show you those things uh, i love you the same thing i'm going to open and show you guys right this is all i show you now uh right i'm going to open the mysql 8.0 right this is 8.0 guys and here 5.0 is there i'll open the 8.0 the password is nth at the rate 9010 right so to see all the databases as we know that show databases right show databases out of all you can choose our database name database name is a uh, mysql 7 amdb this database i'm going to use uh, yes that database i'm going to use uh, in this database in this database there are some tables guys i want to see all the tables there are show tables show tables yes these all tables are there so guys these all tables are created uh, in the previous sessions while discussing the constraints uh, joins uh, sub queries right these all videos available in separate uh, mysql playlist okay please watch guys right now here uh, students data this table contains uh, our required data guys set up to start from what start from the student data yes this data i am going to use for our uh, okay, programs, right? This data I'm going to use, this table data. First, we see some uh, some programs on only single table. Later, we see uh, a combination of two, three tables also, both Python and uh, this SQL queries, right? So this table, first I want to fetch it to be into the, uh, our Python. If you fetch this data in the Python, then it's very easy to make the programs in the Python, right? So for that one now, or database name, uh, database name is mysql 7 amdb right? At last, we give the port number, guys. What's port number is 9010. So for these all connection details, uh, I am giving the name called the connection name I'm giving. I'm giving the name of the name, uh, connection, right? So this connection we have to execute, guys. We execute the connection. We execute the connection. So that uh, this all will be executed. If any mistake is there, if any wrong is there, it will show error. There is nothing wrong in these uh, okay, uh, keyword arguments. Uh, there is nothing wrong. Uh, then uh, connection will be created. And that name we have taken the connection, right? So to execute the connection, we use a function called uh, parser function. Connection dot uh, one, uh, parser function, guys. For this cursor, I give the one name uh, some c equal to 
I'm giving the name K C Y C equal to. I love you. So now what is C? C is a cursor which is executing the connection. What is connection? Connection is an object which contains all database details. Database details. And main school details, right? Now, fine. We have the C. C is a cursor, right? Now, we read the query here. C dot execute. Execute of. Execute of. Uh, what query we read to fetch all the data? We read the cell query, right, guys? Initially, I'm going to fetch all the data. After fetching all the data, on the data, you apply the, okay, uh, the conditions, all those things, guys. Now, run this one. It's fine now. Now, from this table, do you want to fetch only a uh, few data, few rows, all the rows? I want to fetch all the rows, right? C data, uh, C fetch all, guys. Fetch all means all data will fetch. All data, all data will fetch into one variable. That variable name, I take the same student's data, guys. Take the variable name. Uh. This, see, in my exploits table name, uh, student's data, right? Now in Python, also I'm taking the variable student's data so that all data will fetch and the assigned which variable student data variable, the tuple format. That means tuple of, so it's a main tuple, then a first tuple, first sub row, then a second row in the second tuple, then third row in the third tuple, then fourth row in the fourth tuple, then fifth row in the fifth tuple, like that. So each row will come as a one tuple, guys. This is the first row over, then a second row, then a third row, okay, fourth row, then a fifth row, like this. Now, students data is a tuple of tuples, tuple of tuples, guys, okay, all tuples are there, right? Tuple of tuples, right? Now, if I'm going to print, uh, if, I, if I print it uh, at the students, uh, students data, then uh, displays all tuple of tuples, guys. The same data will come, the tuple of tuples format. Right. So, see, it's a main tuple, right? The, uh, starting and ending, you can see parentheses. It's a main tuple. In that first row came as a first tuple, right? Uh, index number zero. Second row came as a second tuple, like index number one, like that. All rows came in the tuple format. Right, so fine guys, now what is happening here? What is our fetching data from database into our Python is over. Suppose on this tuple, I'm going to apply for loop for I in uh, this tuple, right? This tuple guys, students data. What's first time my value? First time my value is the first sub tuple, right? First element in the main tuple. Second time my value is a uh, second element in the main tuple. Third time my value is a uh, third element in the main tuple, right? So first time I value is the first first sub tuple, right? Sub tuple guys. That means uh, that means here first time I value this first uh, sub tuple. Love you. First time this is the okay. First time I value guys. That is the that is which one now? Uh, that's first time I value, right? Now so I means that uh, sub right now. I'm going to uh, print off a uh, first time. Uh, First row will come, second time, second row will come, third time, third row will come, like that all rows will come and display one by one, guys. And display one by one, that's all. Now, all of your children, guys, here, what is done? So in the database, whatever data we have to perform the, okay, uh, the pro to perform, to develop the questions, to develop the answers for the questions, whatever data we have, the same data also available with the, or Python, guys. So now one words, what we do, we read the a single uh, 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 both the Python program and the SQL, uh, SQL query for the same question, right? For the same question, I love you. Okay, that we see, we start in the next session, right? So in this session, what you have done, just uh, the connection implemented and fetched all the data and the data uh, displayed, uh, okay, which format are tuple of tuples, right? Tuple of tuples, okay? So next, what we do in the MySQL, we use the, the student's data table to perform, uh, okay, to read the answers, right? to read the SQL queries, guys. In Python, I use student's data tuple to read the uh, programs, read the programs, right? Right, so thanks so much, guys. In the next session, we will we'll start the questions, right? Thank you a lot, guys. Bye.